Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm gonna try to keep this in the Corvette realm, even though this is a Ford product. Um, maybe that's fitting for the battle. If you guys have been around this channel for a little bit, you probably recognize this thing. This is the second car I ever fully converted. This is a 1965 Ford Galaxy convertible. Uh, custom chassis in it that uh, we built here at the shop. It is a dual motor. Now, when we first built this, we used a salvage Model 3. So we used the 990 motor, which is the non-performance variant of it. In our decision tree for this Corvette, we are trying to keep with the latest and greatest Tesla products that are out there. So what we've decided is we want to try the 4D1 motor, um, affectionately known as the hairpin motor. That motor is the replacement for the 980 motor. So that's the performance model variant, but the 4D1 is now the hairpin design. So this being our test bed, if you will, for the shop, what we've decided is why don't we put a 4D1 in this first, see how much it has improved our zero to 60 times. The idea here is that we prove out the, our choices on this thing that we have up and running. And then that firms up our decisions for what we're gonna run in the Corvette chassis. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out run some baseline zero to 60s with the 990 motor and then we'll swap this over to the 4d1 and do the same thing i got the draggy hooked up in it so we'll uh, use the exact same road we'll try to do the same conditions and see how much of a difference this new 4d1 variant makes it should make some sort of a difference because it is the performance variation of that motor obviously but we're not sure exactly how much of a difference it makes if it is worthwhile us tracking down 4d1 motors to put in this corvette project so let's get loaded up we're going to run some zero to 60s in the stock form in this 990 motor we'll get back and we'll swap these motors out and uh, we'll try it again battery at 70 percent three two one
gives you a pretty good view of the side-by-side -side comparisons. So here we have the 990 variant. This wasn't even the 980 performance model that we had in this Galaxy and we we're still doing some pretty good times with it. This is the new 4D1. So this is supposed to be the 980 replacement. This is the new hairpin motor. Uh, so right off the bat this should have more power than what our old trusty 990 was. But uh, very curious to see an improvement in our 0 60 times. Overall package is definitely sleeker. You can see um, a lot of the refinements, like oil cooler has moved down low, down nice and low. It is missing the external oil filter, so the oil filter is internal to this one. Um, whole package is just a little sleeker, different inverter. This is like, um, you know, if, if you guys are crossover nerds like myself, this is like the Raptor V2, and this is like the Raptor V3, much sleeker minimalistic design.
Got the drive all swapped, put back into place, all hooked up, coolant bled. Final step before we can rip some zero to 60 times is got my fellow Canadians, my dudes from Ingenix, reflashing the drive. So I got to flash the 4D1 to communicate with their software. Of course, the screen's blanked out because they could show me, but then they'd have to kill me. About a half hour process or so, we'll get them all flashed up and then uh, try it out. And we'll be ripping some zero to sixties. So now that we've got the 4D1 swapped back into this, before this rain starts rolling in here, let's get out and uh, we'll run some comparison zero to sixties. We'll do it in the exact same spot. Again, it's about 18 degrees out. Pavement is cold, there's no sun out. So not ideal conditions for zero to 60 times, but um, I'm getting impatient and I want to see how much of a difference this makes. So let's hop in the car. Okay, back on the same road. First test with the 4D1 motor. Battery's about 86% this time. About 18 degrees. Pavement is cold. In three, two, one. Three, two, one. Man, how cool was that? So that was 3.7 seconds in zero to 60. Keep in mind that was cold pavement, that was cold tires. I'm sure if we had a nice day around here and some reasonable temperatures, I could probably get that sub 3.7 seconds. Um, so that kind of proves out our choice for the 4D1 motor variant in the Corvette project. Um, that was about half a second faster zero to 60. In fact, it was six tenths of a second, almost exactly, faster than the 990 variant. So very big improvement. And uh, yeah, that kind of solidifies our choice for motors for this Corvette project. Now, a couple numbers. Stock Model 3 in its stock configuration is about 3,800 pounds. Our Galaxy as configured is 4,400 pounds on the scales. Um, so that's a 4,400 pound car, zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. That's pretty damn fast by itself. But the Corvette is gonna be about 1,400 pounds lighter than that Galaxy. So it should be a real ripper. Um, yeah, so that being said, I better get back to work on that Corvette. Thanks a lot guys for checking this out and I will keep you updated on things as they progress here. Thanks.